What's up boys, we're back. Uh, a little cloudy today, as you can see. A lot of atmospheric pressure. I don't even know what that means. It's wind. We had a comment uh, asking, how do how do you get ready as a beginner in puck? Actually a gong show bag, it's kind of sweet. Uh, we stole it from one of the local rinks because we left our gear, his is in... I don't know where mine is, honestly. Oh. I left mine in bag wall. Tried taking it home on the plane and it got confiscated. It's in like a museum now or something. I don't know. I don't even know what happened to mine. I think you pawned yours. I might have thrown it off the boat. Oh, uh, we don't wear equipment when we play because we're absolute units. Yeah, we don't feel pain boys, so we don't need the quitty on there. Bunch of you plugs obviously trying to play puck. So we'll show you how to gear up and then what spots to target with the slashies, sea checks, maybe a little nubbin. Get some people to drop some nuggies in their huggies. First things first boys. Shoulder pads. You're going shoulders. Obviously, you're gonna get the smaller shoulders. These are the beer league special. Can you grab this? It's right there. Thanks. Yeah. You want the smaller shoulders that you can buy, boys, so you have more mobility when you're uh, chucking sledgehammers in a scrap. Plus, you wanna be lighter weight for speed. All right, boys, step two once you have the shoulders on, you're gonna go with the shinnies. So after I got my shinnies on, you kind of want to, yeah, see that? You barely, ah! I can't even feel it, boys. Some of the tough Why? Because uh, that one hurt. Trying to get you it a little lower. Oh. Yeah. Perfect. So once you got the shinnies on, uh, you want to get the, if you're shopping for new gear, get get as big as you can yeah you want big meaty ones because you're new to the team so you're probably gonna be blocking shots yeah it's for all you rock piles you're getting in front of those shots so that the vets don't have to all right boys so step three you got your shoulders you got your shinnies now it's up for the bow pass boys and the biggest thing for these you want them nice and loose and nice and low because obviously you're gonna tilly boys so you, so you want them to be able to shed off with your mitts. You should be able to shoot them out of your jersey as soon as you toss the finger pillows. Don't even do that, put those straps up. Leave the top straps, boys, and it's nice and loose. So this, when, when you're in a fight, you're sliding these off quick. You see it in the show all the time. That's right, so, and if you're getting too warm during gameplay, you can just shed them real quick, and then you got pointier bows to actually drive into the chest of somebody, boys. All right, boys, look at that. That's barely on. So bows will come off easy. You see Ty Domi used to do it all the time. Make sure bow pads nice and loose, nice and low. They're basically just there for show. You don't actually need bow pads, boys. Not really necessary, but probably should. It's the yawk. This guy looks like he used his, this quite often. A little. Dirty, but make sure you get the cool ones, boys, with the Velkies on the front. The old school ones, you don't want the weird, uh, the weird yak straps like from so Careful, yeah. Get the Velcro straps one, there's Velcro on both sides, so you can hold your socks up, boys. Relax, careful. And they're designed to fit perfectly over shinnies right there. Put pants Usually on. wheels would go next, but yeah. we're, we're not putting the wheels on. We're obviously, we're not gonna put the wheels on because these are the custom, custom bowers. This is holy. Did you saw it with your own blade? Yeah, I was pranking myself. That's funny. So obviously, we're going with the 28 inches. Most of you plugs are probably using 14 inch tops. Do the size diff, boys. So yeah, this is a 13 inch mitt to a 28 inch mitt. Obviously, the bigger the mitt, the better it is, boys. The pantaloons. You want to get the big ones so they look really cool when you're skating, boys. When you're burning hoof down the wall, you just fired up the moose and you're hitting the woods with the boys. 
If you got the baggy pants, they're gonna be flapping in the wind like a bunch of seagulls in a pack of herd of cows. So that's why you want the big ones, boys, and it looks really cool. So now we got the pantaloons on, boys. Another thing you can do to add to coolness, is yeah. you see the zips in here, boys? If you have them open like that, technically it's a penalty, but you're not gonna get called on it, boys, because it looks really cool. And as long as the scouties see how cool you look and how much they flap in the wind, you're, you're golden, boys. Also, uh, with another really uh, cool part, is so you wanna have a, like a hockey lace. I don't have any. Put them around your thingy so that it hangs super low like Ovechkin. Like Ovi. Yeah, it, it looks really cool. That's actually how he made the show. Only wear socks if your team makes you wear them because you don't want to fit in with everybody because obviously you're going to get traded around like a suitcase. So yeah. there's no point wearing socks. You're playing for the name bar. Only worry about the name bar and the numby boys. The jersey. Now, you're probably wondering, why would you put the mitts on before the jersey? And you want to streamline your mitts. So when you put, you get it? When you put the- Where's your head hold, Dicko? Right there. Slide it out. Slide it off to the side there so I can get my dome through. Okay. So what? The jersey. Why can't you? Because I have one hand stuck. So nobody is doing this. Ow, my hair! It's flying. Now, we got the mitts streamlined in the jersey. This is a new style. Which means you're not getting slashied in the wrist, boys. And every time you see someone that's yarfing them up like that on their bow pads, you know they're pugs, they're not gonna scrap you. And then you just target that forearm, boys. I don't have clips on the old Joe. Hold on to the visor. Damn. Don't go in front of the eyes because you're not going to be able to see, boys. So we've got the visor. It's right in my eye. <laughs> So now that you're all geared up, you want to focus on some quintessential parts of the body, boys, where you want to target with the slashes, the C-checks, the nubbies, all that stuff. So we're going to show you all the soft spots of the quitty, boys. And so obviously, if you go on the front of the shinny, boys, he's not going to feel it with the big meat grinders on there. So you always want to target the back of it where there's no padding, and you just want to really lay into it like a lumberjack. Show him, Jacob. Right in here. You're just getting into it, turn your stick over like that and get it with the soft spot. There's no padding there, boys. So he's gonna be down for at least six to eight weeks with a broken rudder, boys. Kinner's here, boys. Cause so I'll be in the corner mucking it out, boys, and battling. Come in. Oh! Just really lean into it. He's down for the count, boys. Uh, Works every time. There's no padding back there. It's a foolproof play, boys. You're hitting the score sheet for two men. This is Soup's crew sheet. You're gonna wanna lay a big meat missile on him. And when he's flopping around like a fish, expose every soft spot at once, boys. Just go to town. That's how you welcome a rock pile to the league, boys. Good luck in the jungle. 